Okay, 8.30 in the morning in the kingdom. We're off to an early start and it's freaking windy. I am pointing east that way. The camera is pointing you guys west that way. Oh, that way. Okay, so this is the Bismarck cat behind me here. He was underwater for three years and he went down running so he bent his connecting rods and all that kind of stuff. Just a minor detail, but that's no problem. So as you can see on the ground here, all right, we're using the pink extension cord. I know it's pink because it's a light gray and we have it plugged into the block heater here. So this is gonna warm up the motor to make it start. Okay, we knew that the screaming Ford would get stuck. Okay, so we have the D69U known as the Bismarck up and running for a little pull. So just like winter road days up on the winter road, using the toe strap, okay, hooked to the D6 cat, and we're pulling the screaming Ford to get through the ice fields and stuff like that. So we've done it long enough and enough times that the screaming Ford even has the cables onto the front axle. Because we want to pull the truck up and out of the ice fields, not trying to pull it straight across with the bumper or the frame hooks. Okay, so then we have the other problem in the back here. I'll slowly walk around. The staff did get some videos of some spinning wheels and stuff like that, which everybody around the world just loves, which makes total nonsense to me. But there we go. So the front axle is the only axle that is powered on it and it's welded solid. So there is no dry shaft back here, okay? So even if Rodney, I mean, Sir Rodney at West Trans makes me a dry shaft to go in here, but we already have it. There's no way to send power back to the rear end here 